Welcome back to the Summer Rain Channel. Today we're making a sparkly champagne bath salt. Um, as you can see, there's little bits of colored dead sea salt in this bath salt. The cool thing about it is it is formulated so it's not all gonna clump up on you. You can just simply pour it into your bath and enjoy your bath salts. Um, the champagne fragrance in here smells absolutely amazing. I know I've said that probably a million times throughout my videos. It might be my hands down favorite. I did go ahead and down in the description below, I put the full recipe for this. So you can just go ahead, pop on there, get the full recipe. Without further ado, let's go ahead and learn how to make a sparkly champagne bath salt. Let's start out by looking at the salts that we use in the sparkling champagne bath salts recipe. We have dendritic salt, which prevents clumping. It's super fine and has a bigger surface area, so it allows it to absorb all of the fragrance oil. It also disperses really quick in the bath water, so then your fragrance is gonna be um, very vibrant in your bath. Then we have Epsom salt, which is good for relaxing sore muscles, and we have Dead Sea salt, also good for relaxing your muscles. But it also is used to help absorb some of the fragrance, so what we don't want is our bath salts to clump in the container. Um, Dead sea salt has to be stored in an airtight container because it will take moisture out of the air and draw it to itself. So you wanna make sure that this is always stored in a airtight container. So we already went over the salts part of this recipe. Now we're gonna go over the sparkling in the champagne. So I have champagne fragrance oil, which is one of my favorite fragrance oils. Um, I'm not certain how they make it smell bubbly, but it definitely smells amazing. And then I have mica powder which if you can see is very sparkly and that's where we're getting the sparkling champagne for this bath salts recipe let's go ahead and make our bath salts okay so we're going to start out with our dendritic salt add our fragrance oil and then we'll just go ahead and mix this all up and we'll set this off to the side. Next, we'll grab our dead sea salt and our mica powder. And we'll go ahead and put the mica powder in there and give it a good mix. Now, if you have any problems with the mica powder sticking to your dead sea salt, feel free just to spray it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and that'll help it stick if you need to. I think we need just a little bit more mica powder in here. And as you can see, when the mica powder is on the Dead Sea salt, it gives a very shimmery salt. Um, looks really nice actually. Go ahead and grab a mixing container. Next we're going to add our dendritic salt with the fragrance oil. Pop your Epsom salt in and then we'll go ahead and put our Dead Sea salt in. And then we're just gonna go ahead and mix this all up. And I love the pop of color that you get rather than just having a white bath salt. It's not really gonna be enough to color your bath very much. Um, I just think it looks nice in the container. And then just to show you, that is how your finished bath salt is gonna look. And then you just wanna go ahead and grab a 
container that you're going to store it in. Again, you want to make sure it's one that seals because the dead sea salt, I don't know if you've ever left it out, like just sitting on the counter, it's going to absorb water to it. It kind of reminds me of how like vegetable glycerin does that, how it just like absorbs water out of the air to itself. Just be cautious of that with whatever container you pick. Then we're just gonna go ahead and pop it all in this container. And the good thing again about this mixture is it's not all gonna clump in there. I've had bath salts before where you're trying to get it out of the container and it all clumps together, which is kind of gross. Well, at least I think it's kind of gross. trying to get it all to fit in here. And there is your finished bath salts. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy making your own sparkly champagne bath salts.